Hey viewers, uh, back with another quick video, getting prepared to go beach detecting. As I've already showed you the Equinox 800, now I'm going to make a sand scoop, or I'm going to call it a sand shovel. Uh, this is a fraction of the price of buying a metal sand scoop from the prospecting shops. And so I'll give you a look at what I've bought. From Bunnings. It's called a cyclone shovel, a multi-purpose shovel. It's all plastic. It's quite a big, uh, big scoop on it. It's very rigid, so it's a strong and good strong handle on it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark on the base all around here I'm going to mark holes or dots with texture and then I'm going to draw them out and I'll probably stop about here and just leave some solid plastic at the front then I'm going to get my hot air gun and I'm going to attempt to melt not melt but soften the plastic here hopefully without ruining it and then tilt the handle on an angle forward because I don't want this in the, particular, uh, the normal shape of a shovel where you've got to dig it in and then turn the dirt like a normal shovel. I want the scoop to be flat with the, court, the handle facing upwards or at least on a bit of an angle. So I'll mark the holes and show you. So there we go, there's the dots. It's not in any particular order. Doesn't matter if it's a bit rough. Um, it's just to let the sand out. Uh, I'm not really sure what size drill bit I'm going to use yet. No, that doesn't really matter either. Um, if I find when I'm using it that the holes need to be bigger, I'll just come home and drill them a bit bigger. But i also got to take into account, I don't want to lose earrings and things, so I need a hole on, small enough to let sand through, but not small enough to let earrings and whatever drop through. So I'll get my drill sorted, and start drilling. So this is my drill kit, and I don't know what size these are for people who want to know. Um, I'm just going to go by this number. I don't know if it's millimeters or whatever. But I might start just this hole here. Uh, this is just 6.5. Um, and I'll try this. And then, like I said, if it's not big enough, I can come back and drill bigger. So I'll get this one started. straight into the box. I'd really like to prop this up somewhere. Well, that should be right like that. And I'll start drilling. There's only plastic so it should be easy. I know with metal you start with a small drill bit. It's pretty easy on plastic. using the dots as a guide I'm not necessarily going to be on the dots just trying to even the holes up a bit try and make it a little bit more There's no point in me showing you me drilling 500 holes because I'm sure you get the gist of it. So uh, I'll finish drilling these and come back. So as you can see, I've done the holes. Not very neat, but you know I should have really come across here a bit more. The sand doesn't care. The sand's still going to come out. Um, I think the holes are going to need to be bigger. 
Um, I may even go over it yet with a bigger one, but we'll see, we'll try it and see. So now I'm going to attempt to not ruin it, but just warm up this area here. This uh, takes a little while to heat up. I'm right handed, so I'll try and do this. And as you can see, this might take a while, so I might pause it and then come back when it's soft. So I'm just heating gently all the way around it. I don't want to snap the handle. And as you can see, it's slowly starting to bend. Because it's so thick, it's taking quite a while to make it soft in the center. It's getting there. Wait a long now. The gun gets pretty hot. They reckon it goes up to 800 degrees or something. So I need it to go down to that there. So I might leave it that and just hold it there until it cools down. That's about the right angle that I wanted at. So I'll just sit here for a while now and just leave it there until it cools down. So there you go, one sand scoop. The handle straight up. The benefit now is that I can just, while I'm standing without having to bend over, push this down in with my foot, bring it up and just lift up some dirt. Um, also with the metal ones, to make sure you've got an item in there, sometimes you have to tip the dirt out and then detect where, where you put the dirt. This here you can detect straight over the top of it because it's plastic and the metal sand scoops cost, I don't know, 250 upwards. This cost me $50 from Bunnings. So I think it's a really good investment. I'm really sure I'm just going to make these holes a bit bigger and I'll have an awesome scoop. So uh, if anyone's out there wanting to get a sand scoop, or a sand shovel I'm going to call this, then I think that's the best option. You'll no doubt see me out on the beach soon using it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.